Hey guys, it's me, Naomi, and I'm back again for another workout. Now this week, we're gonna be working with strength and we're also gonna be working with HIIT. That's high intensity interval training. Now, I'm joining you from my garden today, but obviously you can do this from wherever and whenever. Now, if you don't have time to do it, do it yet, just make sure you hit save and you can save it for later. So today I've got two eight minute rounds for you and then I've got a five minute EMOM finisher. Now the first round is gonna be working purely on strength. It's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to rest. Let's do this. But first of all, we're gonna start with a little warm up. So just come to your space and just roll yourself all the way down the spine, give me walk out. So hands come all the way out, come to a high plank and then walk your hands back, squeeze the glutes at the top. Here we go, walk it out. Roll it up, squeeze at the top. Nice solid core. <laughs> Give me another two. Last one. This is the last one and stay down there. All right, from here, step your right leg wide of your right hand. Just gonna hold it here, really get into that right side. If you can bring that forearm down to the floor, and then reach that arm up to the sky. Drop that hip down. Spend a little bit of time here. When that feels good, hands come down. Swap it over. Left side. Spend some time in this side. Forearm comes down. Reach that arm up to the sky. Drop that hip down. Really nice. We're going to make sure that we're going twice on both sides. Forearm comes down. Reach that arm up. So you're getting that nice twist and then swap it over, other side. All right, so once you've done it a couple of times on each side, or you come back in that downward facing dog, pedal the feet out, and then walk the hands all the way back, and just hang there in that forward fold. We're just gonna walk to the right side, slowly to the left side. Allow that lower back to release, and then roll yourself all the way up to standing. All right, we're gonna give it 20 seconds of jumping jacks, and then into 20 seconds of high knee runs, just to get the blood pumping. So, hands come out, clap at the top, as you jump your legs out. All right, we're just getting the heart going, getting the blood pumping up in the body. Nice, that's five. We're going straight into those high knees in three, two, and one. Let's go. 20 seconds on the clock. Drive the arms. Another 10 seconds. And then from there, you're just gonna shake it out. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, all right. So the heart's just pumping. It's gonna take a little bit of a breather and then we're gonna do that again. 20 seconds of jumping jacks into 20 seconds of your high knees and then we're gonna have another little stretch. All right, another 10 seconds. Just chill here. Let that heart rate come down. All right, we're going in three, two, one, let's go. Really nice, you've got another 10 seconds, that's it. And then you're going straight into the high knees. In five, four, three, two, and one, let's go. High knees, 20 seconds. Drive the arms. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Amazing. All right, we should be feeling a little bit warmer. Let's start this workout. So it's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to rest. Our first exercise is gonna be the body weight squat, all right? So you're gonna squeeze the glutes at the top. You wanna come down to 90 degrees at least. Knees are tracking over the toes. Let's start this. We go in three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds of squats. All right, so nice and slowly on the way down, quickly on the way up. 45 seconds, that's it. You're gonna get that 15 seconds to breathe. This is an eight minute strength round. And you're gonna be repeating each exercise 
twice through. You've got 15 seconds left, and then I'm gonna show you the next move. That's a lie, that was 20. <laughs> now you've got 10. It's always 45 on, 15 off for now. All right, you've got five. Come on, give me a couple more. Two, one, and breathe. That's 15 seconds, just to chill. Now we're just gonna take it into a reverse lunge. Do big step back, knee taps the floor, stand up tall. I want you to think about the weight dropping down into the heel of that front foot. All right, let's go. Let's do this, 45 on. Clock is on. So you can either tap that knee to the floor or you can hover it two inches off the floor. Yeah, you've got a choice there. Again, you want to make sure you're dropping that weight down into the heel of that front foot, not forward, you're not coming forward. Last little push. You've got about 16 seconds left. I know you're starting to feel this now. Last push now. Come on, give me a couple more. You've got five seconds. Three, two, and one, breathe. You've got 15 seconds here. Now we're moving on. This time it's a press up. So you can drop to your knees or toes here. Your elbows are tracking out. Draw your chest down, drive up. You can be on the knees here if you need to. Yeah? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's do this. 45 on, 15 off. Yeah, so you can be on your toes here. I want you to think about pushing that weight back into your toes as you push yourself up. Nice on the core. Again, this is your strength round. So if you want to give me four or five reps, come back into a child's pose, get straight back in, yeah? It's not meant to be easy. You got another, huh, you got another 10 seconds to go. Stay with it. Come on, give me a couple more reps, that's it. In five, four, three, two, and one, breathe, well done. Okay, so just chill. This time we're gonna come onto our backs. It's a butterfly sit up for 45 seconds. Feet together, knees open wide. You're gonna tap the floor behind you and then tap your heels. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, whip in. It's 45 on. Now you're using your arms here as a bit of momentum to get yourself up to that seated position. Tap behind you. Use the arm as momentum to tap the heels. All right, so this is probably one of the easier versions of a sit-up, because you've got that momentum. Feet together, just flopping those knees open to the side. All right, come on. Another 15 seconds, that's it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe, well done. All right, listen up, we're gonna repeat that one more time, but this time we're just gonna add in a little bit more spice. So as you come down into that squat, you're gonna give me a half a squat up, down, and then drive up, yeah? So a little bounce at the bottom, we're going three, two, one, let's go, 45 on, 15 off. So all I'm gonna do is come down to the lowest part of the squat, come up halfway, back down, and then drive up, squeeze to the top, yeah? So we're building a little bit more heat now. A little bit more strength in the lowest part of that squat. Always making sure our knees are tracking over our toes. It's really common for the knees to accidentally go in. Think about them coming out, yeah? So you always wanna make sure your feet are underneath your hips. Toes slightly tracking out so that those knees going in that same direction. Oh, forgot I'm getting my pulse. And chill, well done. All right, so now we're gonna go back into that reverse lunge, but you're just adding in that little pulse, yeah? So same as the squat, drive it back, up halfway, and then stand up tall. All right, we're gonna three, in two, in one, let's go. Knee taps, stand up, tap again, stand up tall, back, up down. So all you're doing is adding in that pulse. Brilliant. All right, 30 seconds to go. Again, think about that weight 
dipping into the heel of the front foot. 15 seconds. Oh, I'm starting to feel this now. Really nice. We've got five. So you can get one more done. Two. And one. Well done. You've got 15 seconds to shake it out. This time we're going to go into a narrow press up. So I want your hands underneath your shoulders. And this time your elbows are going to track in by your ribs. Drive up tall. Okay. So we're just going to be hitting the triceps. Let's go. 15 on. Again, you can drop to your knees here if you need to. So it's a slightly different version of that press up. So as before, our elbows were tracking out. This time our elbows are tracking in. So we're hitting the triceps. Again, give me a couple of reps. Drop back, child's pose, get straight back in. Yeah, all right, last little push. You've got 20 seconds to go. Come on. I'm gonna have to drop to my knees here. Woo, I'm feeling it. Come on, one. let's go. Come on, you got six, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Well done, you got 15 seconds. Now we're gonna go into another version of abs, okay? This time it's a slow bicycle crunch. So as you extend your right leg, keep that left knee bent at 90. You're gonna reach the opposite elbow to your knee and then swap it over. Let's go. 45 on, let's do it. Slow bicycle crunch. So really nice and slowly here. I want you to get that twist and that reach towards the knee. So don't think about the knee coming towards you. You want to think about you reaching to the knee. So that's where you're going to get that real, real burn in the abs. Nice and slowly. Sucking that belly button in. Trying to make sure that that lower back is glued to the floor. Come on, this is it. This is your last bit. Oh, hello Bailey. You've got 10 seconds. Oh, come on. That's two and one. Oh, that is it. Well done. All right, grab yourself a drink. That was your strength section done. We are now moving on. Now, it's going to get a little bit steamy, okay? Because it's going to be a bit more high intensity. So we're taking it into our hit section. It's an eight minute section, but this time it's 30 seconds on, but you're going to get a whole 30 seconds to recover, yeah? So we're going to be working with four very similar exercises. Uh, 30 on, 30 off. All right, so I'm gonna show you your first one. We're going back to that squat. Now, you've got an option always to take it into the low impact option. But if you're taking it into that hit version, you're gonna give me jumping squats, yeah? For 30 seconds. Now, if you wanna carry on with the low impact version, you can do just what we did before, 45 on, 15 off. If you're coming with me, it's gonna be 30 on, with 30 seconds off, yeah? Dreamy, I know. All right, let's do this. 30 seconds of jumping squats. It's an eight minute round. We're going three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds of jumping squats. Use your arms, momentum to drive it up. See how low you can get in that squat, how high you can get off the ground. All right, 15 off. 15 done. Woo. Hey doggy. <laughs> Come on, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, all right. Well, you've got a whole 30 seconds to chill now. So I want you to take that recovery. Let that heart rate come down. Whew, you're under the 20 and then we're in. Now our next move is gonna be a jumping lunge, okay? So this time, fast feet, switch down to that low lunge, and then go again. Woo! We're going in. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 on, 30 off. Fifteen down. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, ah. Oh. Wow. Okay, we've earned that 30 seconds. Okay, next move. It's gonna be a chest to floor burpee, I'm afraid. And we've done it before. Hands come down, jump back. Chest comes down, jump yourself up, jump up tall. All right. Whew. Are we ready? We're going three, two, one. 30 seconds on the clock. Make sure your hips are coming through, standing up tall. Hands down, jump back. Big movement. Oh, I've got a love relation, love hate relationship with these burpees. Come on, last three, two, one. Ah, oh. okay. We got one more move, and then we're going to repeat. Okay, we're going down into a plank. It's called a plank thruster. Okay, so you're in that high plank, jumping your legs in, jump your legs back. Yeah, so in jump back. Oh. Now remember, you can always do a low impact version. You can always flip yourself over, get into that butterfly sit up, okay? We go in three, two, one, let's go. Ah, oh. come on, halfway down. Wow. All right, four minutes down, well nearly. The 30 seconds to chill here. Now we're gonna go back into that jumping squat. Now this time you're just gonna add in a 180, okay? So you're gonna squat, jump round, jump round again. Round, round again, yeah? So same, just adding in that 180. If that's too much, take that jumping squat like we did in the first round, yeah? We're going to five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Use your arms, that's gonna get you round. Fifteen. Plus eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, ah, oh. oh. 30 seconds breathe. Oh my gosh. All right. Now we're going back into that jumping lunge. Slight different variation again. Jump, jump, squat. Jump, jump, squat, yeah? Get ready, five seconds. You've got that lunge, lunge, squat. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge right, lunge left, squat. Lunge left. Lunge right, squat, right, left, squat, left, right, squat. Always starting with the one you left on. Stay low. Eight seconds. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. 30 seconds just chill. Oh. All right, now with the burpee, whew, you either stay with the burpee or you're adding a tuck jump. I'm gonna show you right now. You've got the choice whether you're gonna add it in. Down, jump, yeah? Only if you want to. Otherwise, you're staying with either press ups or normal burpee chest to floor. Let's go, 30 on. Come on, eight, five, four, three, 
two, one. Oh, final round, final round. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is it now. All right, this time it's spider lunge jumps. Yeah, so you're in that plank, right leg, left leg, right, left, big jump. We're going to 10 seconds. And you can always just opt to do your version of abs right now. We're going three, two, one, let's go. Ah. Okay, 15 down. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Come on guys, you got this. Come on, last little push. You're eight, seven, six, don't stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, collapse on the floor. Oh. Just chill, breathe. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna give you like 60, just to breathe. And then we're moving on to our final round. Now, it's an EMOM, yeah? So an EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So I'm gonna give you a amount of reps to complete within that minute. The sooner you get them done, the longer you get to rest, okay? I said just breathe and go back to my breath. Whew. All right, so three exercises, five reps of each, yeah? So like five, Minute EMOM, five reps of each. Three exercises, okay. Squats, you've done them once, we're gonna do it again. This time it's a sumo squat. Sumo squat, nice wide start, toes trucking out, much wider than your normal squat. So you're gonna come real nice and low. Five. Once you've done your five, hands down, jump back or step back, five press ups like you did before. Once you've done five, it's five mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, yeah? So right and left counts as one rep. Once you've got that done, you just get to breathe for the remainder of the 60. Now, every minute, I'm gonna challenge you to add on a burpee every time. So the first minute, no burpee. If you manage to finish within plenty of time, you're gonna add on one burpee. Next minute, if that feels all right, you're gonna add on two burpees, then three, and then we're nearly done, okay? Are we ready for this? Five minute EMON. Five sumo squats, five press ups, and then you've got your 10 knee drives to your five mountain climbers. Are we ready for this? Five minute EMON, and then we are done. Clock starts in three, two, one, let's go. Four, five. Once you've done your sumo squat, hands down, step or jump back. Give me those five press outs. Now I challenge you to be on your toes here. Otherwise, drop to your knees. See if you can get all done without resting. And then you've got your 10 knee drives. Oh, whew. okay. We've got 30 to chill. Keep getting through those reps if you're still going. You've still got another 25 seconds before we start our next minute, okay? Now, if you're like me and you had quite a bit of time to finish, quite a bit of time at the end, all you're gonna do now, once you've done your 10 knee drives, add on one chest to floor burpee. So from the knee drive, once you finish your last one, chest comes down, jump up tall, okay? Next minute starts in three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze your glutes to the top. All right. Well done. Oh, well done. Just breathe. Still got another 25 seconds. I had it on a burpee. Now this time, if you manage to finish, you're now gonna add on two burpees, okay? 
two minutes down, oh, three minutes to go, and then you are done. 10 seconds and we're in. Five sumo squats, five press ups, 10 knee drives, two burpees. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Two babbies. Okay. All right, listen up. You got two more to go. So this time we're adding on three burpees. Now keep working through these reps. If you're still going, you've got another 20 seconds to get the reps done. Just breathe, earn the recovery. Yeah, so it's a good thing to be getting this recovery because it means that you can go into your next minute with enough oomph like you did in round one. All right, we're going to five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Five sumo squats. Three burpees. Okay, one more to go and then you're done. And then you are done. 20 seconds, just breathe. Final round, you got your sumo squats, your press ups and your knee drives. Now listen, we're going in 10 seconds. If you want to challenge yourself, you're going to do burpees till the end of the 60. Are you ready for this? We go three, two, one, let's go. Now I know what you're doing, you're going really nice and slowly now. But you've got the burpees at the end. All right, let's go burpees easy. Either on four burpees or you're going to the end now. You've got 30 seconds to go. Once you've done your fourth, you can breathe or you've got another 20 seconds. Keep going all the way to the end. Come on, last little press. See if you can get another three more. Keep driving, keep pushing. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Woo, that is you done. Wow. Next official, you have smashed that out the park. Incredible, that is your strength and hit workout. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We're gonna have a little cool down now, so just come to the space. Take a seat or take a, just lie yourself down. <laughs> and just allow yourself to breathe, start to regulate your breathing. Uh, and then just draw both legs in, give yourself a big hug. Rock from left to right. Oh. <laughs> I taste really nice now, don't I, baby? <laughs> Draw your right leg up to the sky. Let that left leg come down and just rotate that ankle. Oh. It's gonna get that nice stretch down the hamstring. And then take the ankle over the opposite side. You draw that leg out to the side. Get into that glute. Well done, everyone. Oh, I'm telling you now, that middle round was not easy. And swap it over, bring that left leg up this time, rotate the ankle left and right. See if you can ease that leg in a little bit more. And then take the ankle over the opposite side, you draw that leg out to the side. Well done. Uh, release it there. Rock and roll yourself all the way up. And then cross the feet. 
plant the palms, bring it back into your downward facing dog. We're just going to pedal the feet out. Just start to lengthen the hamstrings and then walk yourself all the way back to your feet. Hand there in that forward fold. Allow the neck to be real heavy. Let that lower back release. Walk to the left side, walk to the right side. We're going to take a twist. So we take our left hand outside blade of that right foot and then we reach that right arm up to the sky. And then come back to centre. Swap it over, reach the other one up. All the way back down to the middle. And then gradually roll yourself all the way up to standing. We're going to take a quad stretch. Bring your knees together. Try and balance yourself. Hold on to something, hold on to your ear, knees together, draw the hips through, tuck the tailbone, and get into that quad. Awesome work, you lot. And remember, you can save this. You can do this again once you've had a proper recovery. Maybe uh, chuck my um, stretch and mobility class on now. Get a proper stretch out and release it there. It's going to sweep the arms up. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms down. Exhale, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, sweep them. Reach up. Last time, bend the knees, swing them up. Bring your hands down, give yourself a huge round of applause, pat on the back. That is you done. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Honestly, you killed it. You guys are amazing. Now remember, if you like this workout, there are so many more workouts on the NTC app. Just get yourself onto the App Store, download NTC app, and you can uh, get a workout whenever, wherever. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.